rat trap hacks that actually work and we're gonna show you right now. As you guys know, rat trapping is a major challenge. These rats are so smart, as you can see in a lot of our videos, they're getting away. And the statistics show that a third of the rats are escaping, especially a lot of these traditional rat traps like this. So what we wanted to do in today's video, go over some of our favorite rat trapping hacks that actually are a massive impact on catching more rats. Oh guys, and if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you an amazing rat trap hack that's actually good for your sewer rats. So check that out. So one thing to understand when you're trying to catch rats is that the longer they stay in the kill zone, the better chance you're going to get more rats. Now, one of the things that a lot of people make a mistake on is the bait, right? Not putting enough bait. So rats can smell up to 325 feet away to be exact. So you gotta be able to create that aroma. We use a lot of peanut butter, or bacon, cinnamon, but you wanna really create a buffet so you get that aroma out into the air. Now, one of the things though, that if you do add a lot of bait, you gotta make sure that it's secure to this feed plate right here. As you know, rats are smart. If you just put a little bit right here, they're gonna come in, grab that little bait, or you're not gonna get enough activity to your traps. Leave your comments on what rat traps work good for you. All right, so rat trap hack number one. I love this and talking about getting those rats to stay longer in the kill zone, this is pretty clever. And all you're gonna do is take a piece of two inch ABS pipe. Now you're not gonna cut half, you'll cut like three quarters of it out because you want the height of it. As you can see, the rats now have to come in and try to struggle a little bit longer to get to the bait. So one thing you wanna make sure of is allow that the bar here is free from hitting the top of the pipe. So let's go ahead and put it into action just so you can get a visual perspective on it. Look at that, guys. Look at that, pipe dreams. Look at that. Perfect shot. All right, so rat trap hack number two. Now I know from experience, I've lost a lot of big rats because they seem to be strong. They're greasy, so they slide and they push themselves out from the kill bar like that. So to prevent that from happening, this is what we're doing. We're just taking some drywall screws and screwing them from the bottom of the trap so they stick up. As you can see, they're inside of the kill bar here. Now making it impossible for those rats to slide themselves out of the trap. Look at that, I'm pulling on it and there's no way that rat's getting out of there. So let's go ahead and put that into action. That's the one with the drywall, guys. The drywall screws, the drywall screws. Go ahead and throw it, take the whole thing and just Look it. at that. Jeez. Bam. He came in from the side. Yep. All right, so with, with rats, you know, they're very, very greasy. Or if they outsmart these traps, they do get away. I'm gonna give you a amazing second chance of not letting these rats go. Now, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you our favorite fast trap that doesn't allow these rats to get away. So it's just another trap that you need to consider. Let's go ahead now and let's take you to our second chance rat trap that if they do escape, you got them. All right, it's this right here. It's the wooden, we'll call it the rat trap box. It's basically just four pieces of wood hinged to a bottom of a piece of plywood like this. So you want your, make sure you make your string about where the middle is and about a half of an inch below the kill bar. Cut yourself a piece of wood, about four inches in length, enough room for the rats to come and go. Create a little groove all the way around for the string. The weight of it actually comes down pretty fast. But what you really have to make sure that the string that's attached to the four inch wood right here has enough tension and the elevation is 
just enough to where it's below the kill bar. So as this comes down, it's gonna trigger this string and push it out like this. So let's go ahead and put this into action. All right, so you want enough room for the rats to come in. And then as soon as they hit that bait, this is what happens. You see how fast that shuts? So if they do get away from the trap, they have no place to get out. Now obviously the top of this, you're gonna need another piece of wood, or if you wanna spend the extra money, you could go with the pexi glass so you can see what you've got here. The other great thing is you're able to carry it out and release the rat if you want it to be out in the wild. If not, Again, you've got access to this rat here, but this is an awesome approach here if you are losing a lot of rats on these type of rat traps. Ooh. Oh, there's another one right there. Ooh. Oh, there's another one right there. One just came right out too. Look at that. Bam. Bam. All right, thanks for staying to the end. And as promised, here is the fastest rat trap that we absolutely love. It's right here, it's made by Coro. It's all metallic. It allows you to secure the rat trap down to wood with these little eye holes here. Also, it allows the rats to come in from not only the front, but on the sides as well. It also comes with a little cable like this so you can secure the rat trap. So if you're up in an attic, this is a, a great way to keep your, your rat traps in, in a particular area here. Uh, what I do like about this as well is the safety pin. As you can see, we've got a safety pin here that will flip once you activate it. So this protects you from getting your fingers whacked. So you just go ahead and slide this back when you're ready to set it. You just set it and you forget about it. You just set it and then forget it. You just set it and forget it. Set it and forget about it. It also has a cage here, guys, so the rats yeah, don't they come, come in from the back. The, the bait. Let's go ahead and put this into action. Again, what I love about this is the speed. So we've got, we got a cucumber here. got a here. cucumber here. Look at how fast that was. Now the big difference, and the reason why there's so much speed here is the kill bar on a Victor trap has to come all the way around where the Coro is literally right here. It's got the same power and it's just so much faster because it's not having to come all the way around. That's what I love about this trap. The other feature that I love about the coral trap, it's got a little pin here so you can put a little sausage or a Slim Jim, slide that and bend that down to secure. So I always like, like for example, bacon, put a piece of bacon right here and then push this down so it secures it on this feed plate right here. So if you're interested in this particular coral trap, there is a description down below that you can uh, purchase them from. They're really a good, strong, trap that's gonna last for, for a long time. One of the things that I would encourage you to do is the metal does have a, a certain smell to it. So sometimes we'll just take some oil or rub some peanut butter on it. Again, creating that aroma, not giving off that metallic smell. So hopefully these rat trap hacks will really make an impact on catching more rats. And if you think some of your friends or family might enjoy this video or they're having a rodent issue, share this video. And again, guys, love to hear your comments. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.